Okay, everybody. Let me just start off by saying that I'm not a big fan of unboxing videos, okay? I really have no interest in them, and I honestly don't really care for them that much. But for this one case, I'm going to make an exception, okay? What we have here is, is a box containing the Bigly box set of Marathon Huge, as it said, okay? Um, it, it, it's related, so it's sort of related to Bungie's game Marathon, and it's a special scenario that um, that were made mostly by two people. There were, were, were Working Kenter and Windbreaker. And no, that is not another nickname for Extra Waiting One X. That is actually the person's nickname in the game. Okay, so comes from <clears throat> the Infinity's distrib distribution center. <laughs> so. Um, he told me about this a while ago and said um, he's having a few boxes made. I told him I was interested, and then he sent me one. Cost only $10, which is really nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. And he says um, there are some things that kind of relate to me in it about um, in, about the whole thing. So we'll see what it's about. And just, just to show you they're familiar with my stuff here, check this out. More washing machine videos, please. And an unboxing video. Well, you're, you're definitely getting your unboxing video right now. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Okay, and to open the box, we'll just use a um, we'll just use a razor blade since it's very easy to cut through this stuff and um, there's no chance that well, there's less of a chance of me going too deep and damaging stuff in the box, which I don't want to do. So as I open this box, maybe I'll give you some history of Marathon, just so I kind of do two things at once and don't take, don't take up too much of your time, okay? So Marathon was one of Bungie's, I'm going to say, I'm not going to say first games, like one of their very early games. It was a game released for Apple computers back in um, 1994, and the second one was 95, and the third one 96. And um, it was a really good game, it was a really good game for the time, I still enjoy it today. And um, around, I'm going to say around 99 or maybe 2000, I could be totally wrong here, so sorry if I am, um, the source code for Marathon... Two, I think, was released, and any corrections I can put in the description or something. And then um, it was made more. Com it was made with the L LF1 engine and um, made more compatible with made compatible with Windows computers and also newer Apple computers that had things like System 10 at the time, which was a, which was a big changeover from System 9. And that's been that's been a favorite game of mine ever since. Um, you know, you guys know how I feel about the gaming industry these days. So. Um, uh, this is the game I still play uh, every now and then, as I mentioned in, the, in that gaming industry video I made back in uh, 2017. Okay, so here we go. Uh, some packing peanuts. Hopefully I can get this out of here without making a mess. Here it is. <laughs> and um, the reason why... Uh, let's see, Mara, yeah. The reason why there's an extra R in there, as maybe you can see, is because I believe there was some kind of misspelling that was left, uh, not not for the game, but for something else that was left alone for quite a long time. So they kind of made fun of it with this, as you can see. So um, let's see what else. Do we have anything else in here? I don't believe so. Now just the flaps of the box. Okay. So that's all done with, and we're gonna have to get this plastic off as carefully as possible. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can go from here, I guess. Oh, you're, you're not in view. Sorry about that. All right. I, I really don't want to use the razor blade here if I don't have to, because I, I don't want to damage the box. But if I have to, yeah, we'll see. Come on. There we go. So. Okay, and uh, what's on the back here? You know what we can do? Let me see if I can get this up to the camera here and you can kind of read it. Um, and of course there's light reflecting on there. See if I can here. Let me do this instead. What you guys can do is pause the video if you want to read through that carefully, okay? Sorry for the lighting. And some of these things are jokes from... Uh, uh, past posts that were made uh, from like a number of years ago, and uh, it is pretty uh, pretty funny stuff. There's some information there. 
I will say uh, Marathon today is actually freeware. You, you can get it for free, totally legally. Um, j j just look it up on uh, online and you can get it from there. Now, if you're a person who, who likes, who's big on graphics in a game, you're probably not going to like it, okay? But if you don't care about this stuff, you just like to play like first-person shooters, um, go for it. You know, it's, I definitely think it's a lot of fun. Okay, now to open this, I think we lift up this uh, flap here. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> now see see this crazy design on right here. In part of the in part of the huge scenario, this is this is a liquid called a juice pool. And basically, what happens is um, as you, as you stand or submerge in it, it actually it actually regenerates your shield to the second layer, which is also called yellow or two X. So it's pretty cool. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look, look, look what it comes with, an old cell phone. You ever see you ever see phones like this? It's been a long time, and oh my gosh, it's actually the, is it? Oh, remember when phones like this were the big thing? Isn't that something to see? Pretty cool. Okay, so there is that. Uh, another piece of foam. And the huge flash drive. I don't know what's in this right now. Maybe we'll eventually find out, and maybe I'll make a separate video on that. I'm just showing you what's in this box currently. All right. Aha, the booklet. This was the thing he was telling me about, that, that, that Windbreaker was telling me about. And... Yeah, and in here, um, here's all the uh, people who were involved with Huge, like who made levels and everything. You can see the names right on there. Pretty cool, huh? So a simple box. Yeah. I'll go ahead and take a look at this uh, booklet and then let you know if there's anything um, interesting in it to see. Okay, and here's what we got. We got some stickers here of, of the pepper that that working character uses a lot um, as his icon and, icon and avatar, whatever you want to use. Now, ch check this out. <laughs> These are called fail stashes, okay? You can see the mustache on there. This is from a user by the name of Fortify. He, he posted a picture of his face, um, the whole thing, obviously. Um, and this is the part that like got cropped off and shown again for some reason. I can't exactly remember why, but uh, he was just being really silly back then. And now I think he does... God, I, think, I, think he's, I think he's going to be like, what, like, like 26 this year? Jeez, yeah. So, I mean, back when, he was just uh, being a silly teen, I guess you could say. And uh, that was just pretty. That was just pretty uh, funny to see. Uh, actually, um, I should explain. This is what you collect in the levels. You have to collect a certain number of these, anywhere from I believe one to seven, depending on the level. You collect these, and then you can move on to the next level. It's pretty funny. Now, this is exactly what this looks like. No, they're not turkey basters. Okay. Yes. <laughs> They're actual douches, you know what I'm saying? You ever hear that commercial that the Nostalgia Critic reviewed? Uh, this is the final boss in the game. It's, 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 it's just crazy. It's kind of cool how it all comes together, though. Now, over here is the booklet, all right? And um, the why is for huge, obviously. So um, I'm going to look through this because um, I know, I know uh, Windbreaker had said there's stuff, something that relates to me in here. And I think I already did, already did find it, but um, I just want to go through and see if I can find it again. I'm not going to, like, show you every page of this thing because that would just spoil it completely, but I'll see if I can find the spot where um, uh, there was a chat log related to me. Yeah, here it is. Uh, this, this particular chat log comes from um, April 16th, 2017, where um, I think the game was... I don't know what stage it was in, but it was kind of going along. And there's a section right here. Um, Working Kanker was using his um, nickname here, and you'll obviously you'll obviously know which name is mine. Let's see if I can show it to you here. There it is. Will it focus? Yep. Cool. So at, when they were all, when they talk, when they were talking about this whole scenario, I actually said, "So this is actually going to happen, huh?" And then he said, "Why would you doubt it?" And I'm just like, "Eh, no reason." <laughs> I actually do remember that chat. That was actually a pretty funny time. So yeah, there you go. And, yeah, so that's about it. I'm not going to show the rest of the booklet, obviously, but um, it shows everything um, that's in it, the mappers and everything. It's really cool. So along with the box, I got the booklet, the flash drive. 
Um, the old cell phone, again, just, I remember when, the, when these were a big thing. I think I was in high school when these were the big kinds of cell phones. Pretty crazy, huh? Um, and all the stickers and the foam, I guess you don't have to worry about. The fail stashes, the peppers, everything. So there's all the stuff. So um, thank you to both you guys. I'm glad you made a box like this. And I'm definitely going to, you know, bring this upstairs. Uh, like, you know, put it somewhere safe, you know, probably just on one of the shelves or something. And pretty cool to have. You know, it's amazing that a scenario uh, just became that big, or should I say huge, haha, <laughs> for the game. And, um, and it's a lot of fun to play. You guys know I've been playing it a lot. And, uh, you know, congratulations, i got to say. I'm making such a cool scenario. It's really fantastic. So there you guys have it. There's stuff sort of from Bungie's Game Marathon, a scenario made for it. And it's a game I still play today. It's from the 90s, and I still play it today, and it's pretty cool. And thanks again, guys, once again. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.